Hey folks, uh, in this video I want to talk a little bit about the zero delay direct monitoring technique I'm using with uh, my ADAT interface. In this case it's um, Behringer Ultragain Pro, uh, also known as ADA8000. This technique is actually going to work with any uh, interface of that sort and the challenge is, is that it has eight inputs and eight outputs but there is no way you can actually route the inputs into the outputs without having like external chain or something. So let me show you how I'm doing it. So what we've got here, this is the main, this is the main device we're going to be using in this job. As you can see, it has two outputs, one input. It has four um, fiber cables inside. They're jammed all together. Um, and then two of them go into this output and then the other two goes in this output. I guess this was done for redundancy or whatever reason, but uh, it's a really physical separation of the uh, audio or optical signal. Uh, really clever idea, super cheap, and um, yeah, I suggest you, you're you gonna get one of these. Uh, we obviously have the ultra gain adapter. It can be any adapter really, um, but the main deal is, is that it has eight inputs and it also has eight outputs and the deal is there is no kind of toggle that you can um, get your input uh, be rooted into the outputs so what usually people do if you want to use it as a preamp you pretty much connect those two uh, together and you get your stuff done then I'm using my audience interface it's ID14 it has the um, optical input but does not have a an output so gonna show you how I putting them together in a minute then I have my mixer it's a digital one but I will show you how to use the setup for both the analog as well as the uh, digital um, mixer and I have two standard cables one is a little bit shorter one is a little bit longer just a standard uh, optical uh, cable so you can get them uh, online very cheap all right so the first setup we're gonna do with uh, analog mixer. Okay, imagine you have uh, eight channels plus two on the interface. You want to be recording them, and you also want to be sending those uh, signals back to whoever is going to be playing, whoever you're going to be recording. In my case, or often people don't really have this problem if they record like a drums, right? So then you have I don't know whatever number of microphones you have and you pretty much send the signal to headphones straight from the interface no big deal uh, it comes a little it, it gets a little bit more complicated if you're trying to record let's say a couple of uh, instruments i in my case it was a a bass a bass um, and two percussionists they're playing in different rooms so i like run the cables to another room and of course i wanted to get them slightly different mix I want to send. I want to be sending a click uh, to one of the percussionists who will be leading the uh, the performance, and uh, I want to be, and the other two wanted to get a slightly different mix, right? So how do you do this? Um, you start normal way. You um, hook up all of your microphones, adjust the uh, input levels. Then the tricks come in here. Um, you're pretty much taking the splitter and you insert this into the output, right? So that way you will get the signal sent into two outputs. Then you take one cable, which is the long one. Okay, you take one in here, you run it into your audio interface, you take the other one, you take into input, and you loop it back into the input of the interface. So in this case, uh, pretty much whatever that comes into the interface will go straight into the uh, eight outputs. It will map out automatically the channels. Uh, one important thing is that you want to have your uh, converter as a master interface, right? So that way, because there is no way, otherwise you will get the, uh, the clock from the uh, for your main interface so you select the master you select your audio interface as a slave and you run it um, 
from there on all you need to do is to take all those outputs run into using standard XLR cable into the inputs on your monitoring uh, mixing desk okay you want to get your I don't know aux one will be like one musician the aux two will be the other musician maybe you will use the the monitor output or the stereo output for third one and if you have more advanced mixture bigger mixer with like different groups and more auxes of course you can have a little bit more complicated setup there um, that's the analog setup the let's get into the digital stuff so the way the digital setup works is a little bit different okay I have I'm lucky that I have this digital mixer it's a really cool uh, tool to have um, and the way I'm using it instead of sending the output from the interface or sorry from the converter into the input of the converter I'm actually taking this uh, cable and I'm sending it straight into the input of my mixer okay so I have here uh, input and output I do not use here the output because it's a 20-bit uh, quite dated kind of interface so the quality is not the kind of the greatest but it um, for the monitoring purposes it's just perfectly fine so what I'm doing it I sending it straight to the input then I'm going to the settings and depending on your setup you can actually say well I have eight it will recognize it as eight input channels if you select add that you then select how many channels do you want to have as an input and you can select hey I want to have four channels I want to have two channels I want to six channels you can select in them in pairs the way I'm doing it normally I'm selecting all eight to uh, go straight into my mix uh, uh, mixer and then I can actually mix the the backtrack or the one that you're recording it with for every musicians that I'm recording so that's the hack I hope it's uh, useful uh, not many people know about this you can find this information on some forums but I hope it will help um, you to get your setup right and avoid any hassle have fun